This is the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, keeping you informed about the happenings in Annapolis and the area. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and of course, local weather. The Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Monday, November 26th, 2018. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. And the holiday season is officially here. Thanksgiving is done. Small Business Saturday is in the past. And the Christmas tree down in Annapolis City Dock is lit. Yes, Annapolis had their grand illumination last night. And with Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus at hand, they counted down. And just before 7 p.m., the beautiful tree was lit. I do think it has a lot more lights on it this year. You'll have to take a look at it yourself and see. But I do think they did a really great job with the tree this year. We did do a live broadcast on our Facebook page, All Annapolis. You can check that out. We'll pin that up to the top if you'd like to see it. It's about a 15-minute live broadcast there. But with the start of the holiday season, do remember that Midnight Madness is coming around the corner on December 6th, December 13th, and the 20th. And also coming up on December 2nd, which is Sunday, West Street will kick into the holiday season and they will light up their canopy of lights over the street, as well as hosting the, I think it's the fourth annual, Chocolate Binge Festival. So if you're into chocolate, that's the place to be on Sunday the 2nd. Sort of a bizarre story out of Anne Arundel County, a Thanksgiving morning road rage incident resulted in a stabbing. And police are still looking for a suspect and a driver. The victim in this incident only suffered minor injuries, but according to Sergeant Jackie Davis of the Anne Arundel County Police Department, it could have been much, much worse. The incident happened at Central Avenue and Muddy Creek Road in Edgewater at about 10.45 a.m. on Thursday when two drivers pulled off to the side of the road and got into an argument. The passenger in one of the vehicles, described as a 16-year-old male, eventually got out and stabbed the driver of the other vehicle in the hip. He and the driver got back in their vehicle and drove off. The team was described as a white boy about 16 years old with curly hair and the driver as a middle-aged white woman with curly brown hair. And the vehicle is a dark green Jeep Compass or Jeep Patriot. And they're asking anybody with any information to call them at 410-222-1960. And here's where it gets a little bit bizarre. Just after publishing that story, we had no less than 10 emails saying that we got it wrong. Now, the information we got was from the police department, but all of these emails said that it was two older men in a Honda and that the, quote, victim stabbed himself. Each one of them claimed to have witnessed it. One had already flown off to the UK, which was kind of bizarre. And since the stories were all so different from the official version from the police department at this point, we obviously didn't update anything on ionanapolis.net, but we did provide all of the emails and email addresses to the Anne Arundel County Police so they can look into that. Very early on Saturday morning at 4.15 a.m., Annapolis City Police officers responded to the 1100 block of Madison Street, which is in the Harbor House community of Eastport, for a report of a shooting. There they located 34-year-old Martin Venerable of Severn outside in the parking lot suffering from a gunshot wound. He was transported to a hospital. He's in stable but serious condition. And police are asking anybody that has any information to give them a call at 410-260-3439. If you're in the medical marijuana business here in Maryland, good news for you. The medical marijuana sales in Maryland are surpassing previous forecasts and could reach $100 million this year. The Baltimore Sun reported that medical marijuana sales totaled $67 million for the first nine months of 2018. And going into this, a market research firm predicted last year that the state sales for the entire 2018 year would only be about $46 million. Good news for the weed peeps. Good news for drivers and anybody that may need to drive in the winter. During a winter storm, the best place to be is behind a freshly cleared stretch of road behind a snowplow. We all know that. Now, thanks to a new app from the Maryland Department of Transportation, we can track crews in real time as they clear the roads. The Storm app which is short for Statewide Transportation Operations Response Map, of course, because the state loves acronyms. It allows drivers to track crews pre-treating roads with Brian ahead of any snowfall as well as any snow clearing operations. According to Charlie Gishler, who's a spokesman for the State Highway Administration, the aim of the app is to put helpful information directly into the citizens' hands so they make smarter driving choices. In addition to real-time tracking, the app also provides a 30-minute history of where the crews have already been. Still, even with the new app, Gishler encouraged everybody to remain patient when heading out in snowy conditions. 
He said, if it's snowing at a pretty good clip and it's cold outside, it takes our drivers about 45 minutes to an hour to complete their routes. So if it's really cold like that and coming down at a good clip, once they go through their routes, it could then show up on the roads again until we make another pass. Good advice and good news from the State Highway Administration. All right, that is about it for the top news this Monday morning. Please make sure you're checking out ionanapolis.net throughout the day because we do update it throughout the day and we never know what's coming down the pike. Please make sure you're giving us a recommendation to all of your friends and colleagues. And if you're someplace where you can give us a rating or a review, please do that. Typically, that's Apple Podcast or Google Play. And right now, you want to hang tight because we have George Young with DMV Weather, and he's got your hyperlocal weather forecast. How many of you will send a will you marry me text or pop the question over Snapchat? Wouldn't have the same touch, would it? Same for buying an engagement ring online and seeing that same ring on someone else's hand. At Zachary's, we love the Internet. But when it comes to a -a once-in-a-lifetime event like picking out an engagement ring, you need a jeweler, not just a jewelry store. At Zachary's, our master jewelers will help you create an engagement ring that's unique. So she has a ring like no one else for the same cost or less than you'd pay for that cookie-cutter ring online. Come to Zachary's, and let's work together to make a -a one-of-a-kind engagement ring. Isn't that what she'd really want? Zachary's. Online at Zachary'sJewelers.com. More than a jewelry store. A jeweler. Going out? You need the most up-to-date local weather. Here's George Young from DMV Weather in Annapolis with today's forecast. Hey everyone, this is George with DMV Weather, and here's your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Monday, November 26th. Yesterday was a great bounce back day with a return of sunshine and warmer temps after a chilly and very wet Saturday in which rainfall totals went over the 7 inch mark for the month of November as most areas picked up between 1 and 2 inches of rain. And today we'll add a little more rainfall to what is already the wettest November ever at BWI Airport in what is already the wettest year ever there as well. But rainfall totals today should be very light on the whole with highs later in the 50s. And then we'll enter a period of sunny, cool days to finish out the work week and the month of November with highs mainly in the 40s and nighttime lows in the upper 20s to upper 30s with breezy winds today and tomorrow as the storm moves by to our west and ultimately to the north. And looking ahead to the weekend, it could be another split between dry and wet, but this time likely with Saturday being the dry day before potentially more rain on Sunday. Stay tuned for updates on that one as we move through the week ahead. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DMV Weather. Make it a great day out there, and be sure to download our free app by searching for DCMDDA Weather from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store, or follow us on Facebook or Twitter or on our website at dmvweather.com so you can always stay weather-informed. Here's to the teacher who spends her weekend helping children who need a little extra attention, to the soldier who missed the birth of his baby while serving overseas, to the EMT working full-time and taking night classes, to the police officers and firefighters working long hours away from their families to keep our families safe. Here's to you, our hometown heroes. I'm Alan Hyatt, chairman and president of Severn Bank, and we know there are many heroes among us, men and women who serve without expecting anything in return which is why we're honored to offer our Hometown Heroes program to educators, law enforcement officers, firefighters, first responders, health care workers, and military personnel. Whether you're opening a checking account or buying a new home, we're here to give back to you. Learn more about our Hometown Heroes program at SeverinBank.com. Severn Bank, here with you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis. And also tell them about our website, ionanapolis.net, where you can find even more information. This podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 7 a.m., keeping you informed with the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. And take a moment to listen to our other podcast, The Maryland Crabs, released every Thursday at noon.